So the idea grew out of, I, I finished college, um, worked in New York for a bit, and I was going back to Nigeria to do my national uh, youth service. And in the time I was there, I was coming from this place where I spent so much time away, and I was now back at home, and I was coming face to face with life at home, which comes with its challenges, and, and I was beginning to think about what kind of life I wanted and if I wanted to stay or go, because I've always been this, we've always been these in-betweeners, and that sort of just evolved into a story of, of well, into the film, a story of migration, story of seeking greener pastures and something, and something else. But I, we had moved back after Full university after a, college. a while ago. Yeah. Um, so I was doing my, we were both doing our civil service there for a long time before going back to, um, to do film school, to do a master's and come back. So it wasn't so much acclimatizing to the place um, uh, as it was just trying to realize the, the script logistically and understanding how to navigate the, the city with as many locations as we had and with the kind of size of crew, the mm -hmm. size of crew that we had, which was pretty substantial showing these two, two different stories. Um, you know, one of the things they have in common is they're both moonlighting somewhere. You know, they both have two jobs. And that's a very common thing in Lagos. You know, you, you have your main job and you have several side hustles. Um, so people are, yeah, people are constantly on the go. I, I would say, relentless. okay, I, I think thinking about the difference between 10 years ago and, and now, yeah. I would say now there's, um, because of the youth and there's a, because of the brain gain that had happened in that period, there was a brain gain, then a brain drain. But I think now you find more, um, they're more subcultures. If it's skateboarders, right. if it's surfers, if it, in like art as well, like art has become something that isn't wholly dismissed. Mm -hmm. There was a time when to say you wanted to be a musician or an artist or it was don't even think about it. Now it's like, okay, tell me, like, let me see, are you talented or do, can you survive in this? Are you willing to put the work in? Mm -hmm.